woke up really early, um, earlier than usual to get up and uh, go seaweed harvesting this morning because it's a really low tide. So. Um, It's at moments like these on the rugged coast where I just feel really lucky to live where I do with coastline like this so nearby. We hiked down and everyone was mesmerized by the Great Nipple Rock. And the trail's really fun hiking down. There's wildflowers and California buckwheat areogonum growing everywhere and Lots of grindelia and dwarf lupins and Indian paintbrush. And the hike down is really fun because we're not carrying a bunch of weight. And then you get to the bottom and it's like being on the ocean floor with the water all gone. Walking across the boulders and just starting to see some of the seaweed and the sea life and the sea anemones. Several people saw sea otters. At this point in the tide pools and the caves, there were a lot of caves here. And since the tide was right at its lowest point, we headed straight towards those parts that were furthest out. Because we only have a limited amount of time to access those points before the tide starts coming back up and the waves start crashing against the rocks again. So sea palm was one of the first things to look for. Oh, there's a lot of it this year. Got here harvesting some wakame here. So you can see on the rocks here um, where there's hardly any algae or any seaweed of any kind, it's because of these. Uh, sea urchins um, that are a problem right now. So you can really see it on these rocks there. Um, that the rocks hardly have any uh, seaweed growing on them because of the sea urchins. It looks like the tide's coming back in. Dude! Down there with like eight of them in there. Like really? All this size. Yeah. Wow. I, I could reach that. Are guy. you going to get one of those ones, you think? Yeah, are I any of those big enough? Can get to it. <laughs> kind of ruined it a little bit, but see that. I'm gonna go rinse that off with some water. Oh my god! Check out those cormorant nests right up there. And someone just saw a sea otter earlier in this cave here. This out, oh yeah. So we're all loaded up now, probably got 
don't know, 35, 40 pounds of seaweed um, on my back. And time to hike out on this crazy trail here. Should be fun. Good beach. I'm gonna feel it in my legs. Oh, here we go. This looks like. Yeah. What's he doing? Is he harvesting more stuff? Oh, he has to go to the bathroom? He's scouting out the trail. He's looking for more buoys. Shoes are soaking wet. While we were harvesting seaweed, we also picked up a lot of trash on the beach. It was a fairly remote beach, but you can see we found some buoys and pieces of styrofoam and other plastic trash that we tried to take out of there. It's good to pick up at least a couple pieces of plastic or trash every time you go to the beach. If everybody did that, it would help a lot.